And welcome to your gold market update and charts of the day for today, Tuesday, the 3rd of October 2023. It is RBA decision day. Of course, that's not the only thing that's going on. Let's discover a little more. It's Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. And of course, overnight in the US, we saw equity markets mixed with the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 in the green, whereas the Dow and the Russell 2000 both finished slightly to the downside. It wasn't a sufficiently broad-based rally to suggest the bulls are back in control yet, despite the fact that US government funding appears to be pushed down the road as an issue. One of the big drags on the market is what's happening in US Treasuries. We saw bond yields on the 10-year rise again, and this is beginning to impact on markets as we go forward. US futures are pretty near neutral today. And Asian markets on the back of that news about treasuries, Chinese markets are still shut. The ASX is significantly lower at 1.2% down, though slightly off the low as it was, around about 1.5% at its worst. The VIX appears to be range-bound, came off the highs in the early part of last week. It was slightly up last night, but not significantly so. As you've already intimated, on the back of those bond yield rises, we've seen an increase in the US dollar. That continues to surge. At highs not seen for a long time. Gold continues to fall. Hits levels not seen since October 2022. Quite staggering drop over the last five trading days. 1800 is now in sight to the downside. It was a bad day for commodities overall on the back of USD strength with copper dropping again to support levels, which has been tested further in Asia. We are actually seeing a breach. And oil price pulled back to three-week lows, which isn't a bad thing. Of course, we're seeing the WTI CFD contract below 90 for the first time for three weeks. Bitcoin has pulled back in Asian trading today after testing resistance yesterday. And of course, as we've already said, the RBA decision is out today, pause expected. And later on, we've got Swiss inflation data and US auto sales, the only two data points of any significance. Of course, it is US jobs week, so we do ramp up a little bit. We've got ADP tomorrow, weekly jobs on Thursday, and the non farm payrolls number on Friday. A couple of charts of core RI today. Uh, some significant movement in yen cross, as you can see here. We had this real strong move to the downside in the euro versus the yen yesterday. We've got a continuation of that in Asia. If we just put this line here, which was the low from last week, you can see at 156.76, this could be support. If you just take it back a little further, you can see this is also important back mid-September. So this is a level to keep an eye on. Not sure whether we'll bounce. We've done enough selling at this stage or whether a breach of this may precipitate more selling and send it even further down towards 156. Very slim pickings on the ASX, but we did note Select Harvest look as though they may have found a bottom. It is one of the few stocks up today and you can see that is moving back up to an important level at around about this $4. We think this is a potential turning point we could see this move back up towards its 200 ma in the medium term if you're interested in the short term i think you need to keep your radar a little low in terms of how high this might go maybe 425 at best but that would be a reasonable return of around about five percent which in this market is very good outside of that very slim pickings as i've already said maybe worthwhile just taking a breather from the ASX for the next day or two. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.